Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With The Big Family Homestead, and today I have to tell you, I've been waiting for a very long time mm -hmm. to share this with you. And we are going to talk about whether or not the uh, myth or possibility of rural internet really, really exists. Yeah, exactly. Okay, for those of you who don't know our story, I'm going to keep this short because I really want to get to the device that we're going to be talking about what it does, what it doesn't do, all that yada yada nippy skippy. But here's the scoop. We live in the middle of nowhere in terms of internet land. Yes. Uh, the cell signal here is pretty much almost nothing. Well, cell signal is not exactly that important oh. when you're talking about internet. True. But we'll talk about that. <laughs> we can talk about that. However, the internet here is even worse. Uh, we can get well, HughesNet. Yeah, DSL is probably the best thing you can get. And it was awful. Yeah, and there's a local company that we're not going to name because we just don't want to bash them. Mm -hmm. But let's just say this. If you know anything about the internet speeds, we were getting um, maybe 0.8 up. Mm -hmm. And then how about... Like, Six or seven download. And that's the fastest mm -hmm. ever. Like right. ever, ever, ever. And it was horrible. And any time that, you know, if, if the prime time was going on, everybody's watching Netflix, we didn't get there was anything. Yeah, there was nothing. So we looked into towers. We looked into boosters. We bought a booster. We bought one of those fancy Dan boosters. We, bought, we spent $500 on this booster. It's crazy. And um, it barely worked. It, it barely was enough to get by, but it was always dropping and it was always a problem. Yep. And, um, and actually, there was this one point where we thought, oh my gosh, because all the green lights came on this device. Mm -hmm. And we thought, oh, perfect, we got great signal. But our cell phones still showed no sing signal. Right. And so we figured out that it was actually there was a wire pulled out of it and it didn't show anything. Right. <laughs> so here's the thing we've looked into everything when it comes to internet. We've even considered uh, towers that do microwave technology back and forth. and That's very costly. Extremely costly. Mm -hmm. So um, we had a friend of the channel, and you know who you are, recommend this because he works for a telecommunications company and, and for us to have actual internet put here would be about $10,000. Yeah, it was, yeah. That, I can't even imagine. Yeah, and so he made a suggestion um, for a device and a company. Now, I don't want to talk about the company, and the reason why is because we tried four different times to get in touch with this company. Mm -hmm. We tried to purchase their service, and it was always out of stock. Mm -hmm. And I was so excited about it because it was supposed to be $60 a month, um, unlimited, no throttling. Right. And we couldn't get these people on the phone or email or anything. They even had the, like the live chat. And we tried everything. So I don't really want to talk about them because this device will work with your carrier. Mm -hmm. This device will work with anybody's carrier. Right. They have them unlocked to where you can take it to whoever carrier is nearby you. And, yeah. and we're going to actually do a live speed test mm -hmm. to show you. Now, we have found this guy right here. This is the Netgear Nighthawk. It's the 1100 um, mobile hotspot router, LTE router. Yep. Check that out, check that out, well yeah. This thing is amazing. Spoiler alert, it solved our problem. It's completely solved our problem. In a big way. Huge way. How many hours would it take you to upload a one gig video? In the past, mm. In the past, a one gig video would take 10 hours plus mm -hmm. to upload something to YouTube. Yeah. And that is, to be honest, if there were no errors, no power issues, no nothing, right. and then it just glitches and you're done. Mm -hmm. um, last night, I uploaded a just over one gig video and it took all of about 12 and a half minutes. That's pretty amazing. And, okay, here's the scoop. We're gonna talk about the device some more. Um, then we're going to talk about the plans. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to show you the speed test. Yep. So the device, it is a mobile hotspot router. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. It's it's about the size, a little bit bigger than the size of a hockey puck. It's pocket size for pocket travel. size. Ooh. Actually, it literally would fit in your pocket. Um. Anyway, <laughs> so those of you who might not know what this is, basically think of this as a cell phone 
like a supercharged cell phone that's got really great reception anywhere you go, and then combine it with a Wi-Fi router. Yep. So that means your computers can talk to it. Mm -hmm. That means your phones can talk to it, mm -hmm. your pads. Our TV. Your TV, and it basically, this becomes your internet, yep. okay? And um, it has some connectors on here that are pretty cool to note. You've got a USB connector, USB-C, and a ethernet, however, don't get excited about the Ethernet. No, don't. Yeah, the e the um, the the USB is so that you can charge your phone. The USB C is to charge the device. Well, it also has an odd thing where you can use their software mm -hmm. and transfer files through these different ports. Mm -hmm. I thought that oh my gosh, I got so excited thinking I could just plug this into another router. And then, you know, daisy chain the internet mm -hmm. signals all around the house. No. Doesn't work that way. Mm -mm. But it's still cool. But before we show you any more, this also can connect to a bigger antenna array. Mm -hmm. Now, these little rubber feet here, they look like the rubber fleet. Fleet, fleet. Uh -huh. <laughs> but if you pull that back, both sides, you can have antennas that hook to them and will boost your signal even more. Now. Now. This is amazing. Watch this. Okay, three new messages and this kind of thing. Keep, keep press it again. Okay, if you press it, it goes to different screens. I want to show you something. I'm gonna bring it really okay, quick over here yeah. to the, the device it. because you need to see this. I gotta make sure that you're seeing it right <laughs> there. You see that? 69 or 68 or 69 gigabytes mm -hmm. of unlimited data. Now. That's how much we've used. In about a week. Yeah. In about a week. Yeah, we have 25 days left on our monthly plan. Yeah, it says 68.34 gigabytes of unlimited use. Now, that in itself rocks. It's huge. That is huge. But before we get into all the exciting stuff, it does, it's got different modes. You just press the top. It does a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi mode, but it also does the new 5G uh, Wi-Fi if it's available to you. Right. Now, we're not gonna talk about whether or not it's good to have the 5G or not, because frankly, I don't know, and I don't think it's gonna be a good thing, but the standard Wi-Fi rocks. Mm -hmm. This thing has a whole, the battery, the whole pack on the back is a battery. Mm -hmm. Now, um, when you get it, we made the mistake of buying a SIM card. We did, we bought uh, the unlimited SIM card However, I didn't see how the the size matters. Mm -hmm. um, the the it, sorry, the SIM card that I bought was too big for this device. So you have to make sure that you get the right size SIM card. It comes with one. That's the whole point. Well, this is an AT and T specific, so right. the unlocked ones probably don't come with a SIM card. Maybe. Now so. let's talk about that. What's super cool about this is you can get one of these devices for any carrier you want. Like if you're on Verizon, you want to stay with Verizon, get the Verizon version of this right. and it'll work. Mm -hmm. And um, if you like want one that's unlocked so you can jump around to different carriers, that's fine. You can get an unlocked version. Right. Um, so let's talk about the, pl the plans, the plans, master. Master. The plans because right. it really is based on what you want to use. Right. We already have a, an AT&T family share plan, so we added this to that, and it only added a small portion to our bill. Now, if you had this just by itself, it is a $65 monthly fee. It's, hold on. Only $65. No, 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 no time, out, time out, though. That's if you want unlimited. You can yes. get whatever plan you want. Right. You could say, I want the $30 a month plan, and then you just get less data. Right. But uh, for us who upload videos a lot, you know, we do the YouTube thing, Unlimited, it just has to be. Right. And we were told, and I, I've been skeptical, but now I'm. I, that's why I showed you how many gigabytes of data we used, mm -hmm. is that we were told that the plan we have is unlimited and unthrottled. Right. Traditionally, with a cell phone, if you have the unlimited plan at 22 gig, at least with our carrier, they throttle back the... the uh, the quality of the download. Well, if that's a video. Right. But if it's data, a throttle means they slow it down. Right. So, but for us, it's not been an issue at all. No, not at all. Matter of fact, that's why I wanted to show you the, um, the amount of data there. 68.34 gigs used in about a week, and I uploaded that video last night in about 12 to 13 minutes, one right. gig. 
Right. Both of our computers are attached to this, and he watches videos like crazy. I download videos and, and curriculum for the kids and different things like that. Um, we also watch Netflix, and that's actually pretty good. Within a week, we've only used that much. I know. I'm actually really surprised. <laughs> and I have been doing various speed tests. Now, this device sits in the, over in the corner, which is about uh, 25 feet away from my desk, and my upload speeds are phenomenal. And I did it before the 22 gig throttle back, whatever. To test it. To test it, and it has not changed since then. Right. And here's the thing, where we set it is the closest to a window that we know that there's a cell phone in that, or a cell tower in that direction. Yeah. However, um, where I have my office, it's not on the main floor, it's upstairs and it's two bedrooms over. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely going through a lot of walls yeah. and uh, well, infrastructure of the house. Mm -hmm. And I have zero problem uploading. Obviously, was what I said. Um, this thing can charge your devices, which is kind of cool. I mean, I wouldn't use it for that just because this is this is gold. Yeah. You know, and here's here's the deal, guys. We live, I got to reiterate this. We live in the sticks. We live in the middle of central Wisconsin. The the base of the Northwoods. Right, right. Where the where the North, you know, when you watch Little House on the Prairie, they talk about the Northwoods. That's this it. is it. <laughs> Let's just say that the the town next to us has about 1000 people in it. Yeah. The town that's west of us, 300. Yeah, yeah. It's, we don't live in any place where you get good serviceable internet. What I used to have to do is take a thumb drive, put my videos on it, drive to the library, mm -hmm. upload there because they got better speeds, but now it's like, forget about it. Yeah. So this is the Netgear Nighthawk 1100 uh, LTE mobile hotspot router, and I have to say, blown away. Two thumbs up. We're gonna show you a speed test, but this thing is unbelievable. And I can't, I'm just, I keep looking at the data going, it's not slowing down. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked and amazed. There are going to be links down below, guys. If you want to check this out for yourself, <laughs> check it out. I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. You know, keep your receipt. If it doesn't work, send it back, right. whatever. Right. Um, but we live out in the sticks and right. it has worked great. This would work really, really great for those who travel a lot too. You can keep this in your car. Um, your kids can connect to it on the Wi-Fi, whatever. But yep. this is, this is a phenomenal thing. So, Links down below. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and set this right here. I'm going to walk over and get the camera so that you guys can see that what we're doing is real and it's not, you know, we're not, we're not, we're not changing cut. anything. We're not, we're not going to cut, cut this. So links below if you like it. Mm -hmm. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. And this is the Big Family Homestead. I'm going to grab the camera. All right. So we actually moved over here mainly because it's got the power cord and we didn't have power over there. So go ahead and hit this moment. This is the prime time right now. So it might be a little slower than normal. Uh... Did you hit go? I did. All right, here we go. <clears throat> okay, that's jamming. That is a little bit lower than we've been getting normally, but it is, it's right now dinner time. Mm -hmm. People are watching TV. All right. I'm going to guess we're going to get six or seven because it's really busy. Yeah. Whoa. All right. I'll take it. Maybe nine, maybe 10. Ooh, 10. Two eleven, two eleven, carry on twelve, give me twelve, give me twelve, give me twelve. Yeah, oh, looks like be eleven, but still, that's fantastic. Oh, twelve, eleven point nine nine. All right, and guys, awesome. That is out here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, this is amazing with no antennas outside at all. Nope, it's just a little device. Yep. We plan on getting antennas ASAP. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Netgear Nighthawk for win. the win. Two thumbs up. Links down below. Yep. See you guys later.